Big Daddy here with another video in the series of customizing KDE. So, in the last video with the panel, I took off the task manager, which shows you your open windows. So, I no longer can see them up here. So, what I use to see my open windows is the plank dock. So, now if you're unsettled about adding a PPA, you can always go into Synaptic Package Manager and install it. And the version that's in there is 0.11.1, .1. at least in KDE Neon, it is. So, but I like the latest updates to everything, which is why I'm on Neon. So, I install it by a repository. I add the main repository for Plank. So, if you paste this into your terminal and hit enter, and you'll have to hit enter again in order to okay the fact that you want to add this PPA in, and then you do a sudo apt get update to uh, refresh the repositories, you can then either go back to Synaptic Package Manager and you'll see that it is up to 0.11.2 or you can just run this command in the terminal and it will stall Plank. Now I also add another repository which is a one that's been around for a long time and it has many many applications um, it also has a themes repository and a theme and the icon repository which is Noob's Lab and it is a, a, a highly trusted repository so I add this repository I hit enter to make sure that it's in there, do another sudo apt get update, and then you can do a sudo apt get install plank themer. You run this command to clean up, and what the plank themer does is it gives you multiple different themes more than the default plank installation. So with the default plank installation you get like four with the plank themer installed you get like probably 15 so the I guess the I don't know if it was the other versions of plank or or if I have a setting that's messed up but there's normally a icon here that gives you quick access to the preferences of plank but if it if in your case it doesn't which is in my case it doesn't you can run this command plank Pre uh, dash dash preferences in the terminal and it will bring up the preferences so here is the themes that I was referring to so you can click on any of them and use them and it will change the look of plank you don't have to click in there you can just scroll your mouse wheel and it will actually change the whatever to whatever theme that's the next one and I'm gonna stick with Pantheon for right now because that matches my um, if I can get back to Pantheon that matches my KDE panel right at the moment once I start theming out KDE then I will switch to dock as well so along with plank you can position it to the bottom top right or left kinda like you can just in any other panel uh, you can switch displays if you have dual screens you can like the KDE panel, center it, or make it go all the way to the right, or make it go to the left, or you can make it fill like a like a actual panel. But I like it in the center. And you can change the icon size to however big you want it. But I leave it on 48, because that seems like a good spot to me. You can turn on icon zoom, which if you don't have this on, it basically just gives a little highlight to whatever icon you're hovered over. I like the icon zoom, and you can adjust how much zoom you have, but it zooms in whatever icon you're hovering on. So as far as the behavior, you can use IntelliHide, is what, which is the default, which is what I use. You can also use Auto Hide, which it will hide all the time. Dodge, Maximize Window, Window Dodge, and Dodge Active Window. But IntelliHide, uh, basically, if you move a window over near it, it will disappear. You can always get to it, but it will disappear until you move the window, and then it comes back. So that's what I prefer. 
So you can lock the icons, um, restrict the workspace, but I have this checked here, show unpinned, which means um, when something opens, a new program opens, like say, um, let's see, what is not in there? Okay, so system settings is not in there. So when we open system settings, here comes the icon. Now if I close that, it goes away. But if you want to keep that as a shortcut, you can either drag it somewhere or you can right click and hit keep in dock. And then once you close it, it stays there and you can move this anywhere you want to. So, um, it also has docklets, a clock. Um, now, I mean, the clock's not bad. You can put this on and put it in, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can do the digital clock and you can change it to 24 hour you can show the date uh, that, but that's up to you whether you want that on so if you want to get rid of any shortcuts you can uncheck the keep in dock like these are not checked as of right now so like this one here you can uncheck that and it is gone all right you can also drag from kde down to the dock itself and it will pin it there so you can have a show desktop in here. You can have a trash can in here. And it's just quick access to the trash can. Although in KDE Neon, the default um, setting, which is so weird to me, the default setting to open a file is Gwenview. <laughs> I don't understand why that is, but I have to actually go in and change that. But that's the default setting. So once I change that to Dolphin, um, the trash will be there. If you want to get rid of an icon, you can right click and uncheck it, or you can just drag it off the dock and it's gone. So that is Docky, or should I say Plank? It was Docky, and a, I guess Plank is a fork of Docky. And also, um, Elementary OS has their own um, fork of it as well. So once you're done with the preferences, you can close the terminal and that'll be it. So that is how I see my running applications for KDE. And obviously the icon sets change when you change the icon. And like I said, once I change this theme, the theme I will change as well. And that's where the Plank Themer comes in handy. So that's all for this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one in the series of customizing KDE. But until then, Big Daddy out.